Um, today I didn't really do much. I went to um, a repair shop to try to get an estimate on repairing my vehicle. And um, basically I was told that to get an accurate estimate, they had to take apart the car. And then if they took apart the car, then um, I basically wouldn't be able to, you know, leave with it or drive it anymore. So. That's what I'm saying. It's probably gonna need a quarter too. Uh, it's gonna need a quarter. But to do it correctly, we need to, like I said, to get it taken apart. Okay. And off the top of my head, you probably got, you probably got six thousand plus damage on it. Okay. At least. At least. I, I, that's why I'd rather ride it up. You're gonna need everything's gonna be replaced basically, except for that fender up there. Okay. I tell you, take care of that car though. It's nice and clean. Place a quarter, depot, both doors. What you want both to put about the way it was? Yeah, I do. Those are probably going to have to be replaced. What's that? Regulators. Oh, yeah, yeah. <coughs> I doubt you'll you find it. put a whole unit aside. I doubt very seriously you'll find it. Uh, Lexus. Use and Lexus is a little different. You got to run to all that because you might not be able to use it. I'm saying you might have to put your whole unit aside. Yeah, I mean, all new parts. So they want us to use salvage parts if they're available. The good thing about but the Lexus, Lexus Subaru, Lexus. some cars you can't use them on there. They do not, you know, allow you to do that. Okay. So then I got to run all the literature on that, you know, to make sure I'm covered on that. Jeez. Was he you for, did, did you get the hand caught him, caught the guy? No. But that's basically it, what I did today. I also started the process of putting up my Christmas tree. I'm gonna do like a red and white theme. So I only put up the tree and I put up some of the ornaments, but I'll finish it up tomorrow. Cause I wanna go buy some, um, I need to buy some more things. I usually buy my Christmas ornaments when Christmas is over, when everything is like 75% off. So I think I'm only gonna buy like some um what do you call it the ribbon to like wrap around the tree that looks really pretty. I just need to add some more oomph to my tree. Looks a little you know it's lacking. So that's it. Alright guys, I am going to go up in my attic and get my Christmas stuff. This is what my attic looked like. It's kind of scary. It's not like a finished attic, but uh, I have a little bit of plywood where I could put my Christmas stuff, suitcases and stuff, anything that's really large that I don't want to keep down in the house. So, let's get our Christmas tree. I got two Christmas trees up here. I'm not really sure which one I'm going to use. This one is a pre-lit. Remember what's, I don't know. I don't remember what that one is. Timber! Woo! I'm gonna put my Christmas tree in the corner right here. In my living room. I don't have a TV. Not yet. So the theme is gonna be red. So I got my little Christmas skirt already up and then I'm gonna put the top on top of there. And then, I don't know, I feel tired. I might start throwing on the ornaments. Tell you guys a little secret. I got rid of all my plates and bowls, and all we use is styrofoam. I know it's not good for the environment, but I don't have to wash that many dishes anymore. Less stress. Anyway, so after going to get an estimate to repair my car, I stopped by um, Food Lion and I picked up 
my favorite quick meal preparer, Reina. I have a video on how I make this. But spinach and ricotta ravioli, this is the absolute best one. I've tried this about all of them. I also grabbed me the four cheese ravioli because my kids don't really like spinach when they know it's spinach. But they'll eat it if they don't know it's spinach. So don't tell your kids it's spinach. Tonight, check out my video on how I prepare this. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. So you want to pair it with the Reina Alfredo sauce. Should be dinner under, I'd say under 15 bucks. So this is what it looks like. Now it's a little red to it because I added some, I diced up some, um, what do you call it? The really small tomatoes, the cherry tomatoes. And then I got some zucchini in here. I also got some onions. So you could add other things to your dish, you know, give it more flavor. Some green onions, some garlic, tomatoes. But my sauce is red because of the tomatoes. But that's our dinner tonight. We've eaten out twice this week and I was ready to eat some home cooked food, even though it's not really, it's home cooked, but it's not like from scratch. But that's our dinner tonight. So sad. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in my next vlog, this video. Bye.